who it is. Y'all know what it is. It's your boy Matthew Shack live here in Los Angeles. Welcome to Matthew Shack Unfiltered. You just saw um, UConn just straight crush Purdue Boilermakers, man, in this uh, NCAA championship game. Um, and it wasn't even close, man. Wasn't even close, man. Uh, but salute to uh, Dan Dan Hurley and the um, and UConn for uh, going back to back champions, man. And it just goes to show you, man, that um, that uh, you know the teams that uh, that do the best recruiting and the guys that keep their players, um, you know, doing what they do are the teams that are going to win. First things first, man, salute to the Unfiltered Nation and the Unfiltered Fam. Uh, what's going on with all of you guys out there, man? Um, like I said, I'm just laying up here on the couch, man. Your boy, your boy was just, your boy was just sipping, sipping on some very, very strong rum, dog. Like, so, dude, I'm, I'm about to fall asleep, bro. I, I was, this game was, was so much of a non, con, you know, I would say a non-competitive game because uh, Purdue just couldn't hang, bro. I was just sitting here sipping. So your boy's on one. Boy's on one right now, man. And the only thing that's keeping me awake right now is talking to y'all. I ain't even going to hold you shit, okay? Um, yeah, man. Um, it just goes to show you, bro, that um, in the game of basketball, man, and when you're playing college, uh, you have to get offensive rebounds. You have to get you have to get second chance points, and Boilermakers just couldn't get second chance points, and uh, and it seemed like uh, uh, UConn was able to get those second hand po second chance points, and that's how it boiled down, dog. That's what happened, dog. You know what I'm saying? Um, but uh, you know, salute to them, man. It's good to see the Hurleys, man. I remember Bobby Hurley, man, Dan Hurley's older brother, Bobby Hurley, uh, who was, uh, played for Duke and, uh, you know, played for Mike Krzyzewski back in the early 90s, man, when they were winning things. And then he actually came out and played for the, uh, um, played for the uh, Sacramento Kings and, and almost lost his life in a car accident. Uh, the, the Hurley family are just basketball savants, bro, when it comes to coaching. Um, the father was one of the greatest high, high school coaches of all time. So it makes sense, but man, yeah, dude, it's, you know, this, this, this was definitely not as competitive as the women's, uh, championship game yesterday. Women's championship game yesterday was way more competitive dog, way more competitive. Uh, tonight I knew that it wasn't going to be that much, man. So I just went ahead and just kept, I just kept pouring that drink, pow. Pow had me a bomb ass chicken sandwich. Went over to Starbird, got me some food, came home, laid here, you know, had me a nice tasty beverage, good food. And now it's like, dude, if it wasn't if it wasn't for me coming on having to talk to you guys, man, I'd be I'd be sleep right now, bro. Right here on this couch. Okay. Sleep, sleep as hell. All right. But uh yeah, I would be remiss not to come in and not to holler at y'all, man. Oh, let me see if I can sit up. Because if I don't sit up, I'm going to fall asleep on you guys. Man, I ain't going to even hold you, bro. Okay. I'm not going to hold you. Oh, all right, man. So, uh, you know, what's there to talk about, bro? What's there to talk about? You know, you you had, uh, like I said before, Purdue Boilermakers couldn't get an offensive rebound to save their life. Uh, one shot, and uh, it was a defensive rebound going the other way, man. And then on offense, it wasn't that... Uh, Let's not act like uh, like um, UConn was 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 hitting everything that was uh, you know knocking the lights out, but the difference is is that uh, they were getting second chance points, man. You know when you get two or three attempts, miss a shot, they come back at two or three attempts to get a shot. They getting offensive rebounds and putbacks, just, just starts wearing on you, bro. Okay, do I have any more any more drinking here? Let me see. Yeah, I had I had I had a little bit more in there to drink, dog. I, I, I drunk about five of these mugs full of full of uh, full of that uh, full of that oil. Okay, I was drinking that oil. Uh, but yeah, man, 
And then Purdue, they just weren't shooting threes, man. You know, and, and when you're know, playing the modern game, you got to be able to make three point shots, man, to keep the defense honest. They knew you were going to throw it inside to the Purdue to, to Purdue's big man, and they just knew that that was what's going to happen. They just kept pushing them out. Uh, I thought that UConn did a great job of pushing out their center and um, pushing his ass, pushing his ass off the lane. I thought he did it. They did an amazing job doing that shit. Um, so. Yeah, like I said before, man, not the most exciting of games. It was all right. Let me see what else is on. Let me see if I can put on some NBA. But last night's game was way more competitive, man. The, the, the ladies played way better than this. This shit was a snoozer, bro. It was an absolute snoozer. I ain't, I ain't even going to fake the funk. You know what I'm saying? Let me see if I can put on some NBA, see if anything else is on. But... We got to talk about it because it was on, man. So I just want to come in, man, see what's popping with you guys. Uh, Monday night, college basketball is over. Uh, you know, now we're in some full-fledged uh, Major League Baseball. Uh, you know, I was watching my Yankees earlier today. We won 7-0. So I was watching that. But, yeah, man, it's, you know, not a whole lot to, to really digest, man. You know, uh, if, you, if, you, if you are definitely a fan of basketball, a purist like my, my, uh, myself, you know, you can you can find out what it was, but once they weren't getting any de uh, defensive rebounds and they were getting second chance points, uh, UConn it was going to be barbecue chicken, and that's exactly what it was. Winning by 15, that that in, in a championship game is an ass whooping. Let's just keep it a buck, guy. They got their ass whooped. I was kind of hoping that Purdue was going to do a little something, but I, I knew that it wasn't going to happen. Um, you know, when you're playing solid, fundamental basketball like that. There's a whole lot of things that's, that could be done. Okay, I'm trying to see what else is on. I'm going to read you guys' questions, man. Like I said before, man, you know, I'm not, you know, not everybody, you know, on this channel can talk some basketball. That's the key. I'm trying to attract basketball savants, people who can come in here and talk their basketball, just like we talk football and everything else. Okay, because I go with the basketball. I could definitely go. Um, but, yeah, let's see what's going on here. Let me check and see what's going on with NBA TV real quick. Let me read you guys' questions, see what's popping with you guys. Um, and, uh, you know, see if there's anything you guys want to discuss. If not, I ain't tripping, dog. Your boy, your boy's sitting there been drinking on that, drinking on that motor oil. That motor oil got me, man, I'm trying to tell you, man. I, I'm looking at the TV fuzzy as hell right now. You guys are fuzzy as hell right now, bro. But I'm in the privacy of my own home, so shit. Can't no police come in here and tell me shit. I ain't driving, and can't nobody give me a DUI in my own house. So it is what it is, okay. Um, let me see what's popping with you guys real quick. Uh, see what's going on, man. See what you guys want to talk about. Anything you guys may want to bring up, man, it's all good. And if you don't want to bring up nothing, that's all good too. Okay, because I ain't tripping. I'll, I will definitely go to sleep. Okay, do not get it misconstrued. Daniel Berry Sports in the house, what's going on? Daniel Berry Sports says, uh, UConn Dynasty. Yeah, man, shit, you know, that's two in a row, back to back. Uh, and in, in the college game, you're dealing with bringing in recruits and bringing in um, new players. And uh, I don't think there's no NBA games on right now. I think all the NBA games are off because I'm flipping through all the channels. I don't see nothing on. Okay, nothing on. Yeah, every every NBA, I'm on NBA TV. I got the, all the packages, bro. All the NFL, NBA, Major League Baseball packages. I don't see nothing. Okay, yeah, I think I think all the game cool. Ain't tripping. Uh, see what else y'all talking about, man? Okay, X Men in the house. What's going on? Winnie to Thomas. What up, Shaq? Salute to my fellow mods. The UN and the UF, man. Enjoy those sticks. Yeah, man. Appreciate it, man. My boy Winnington Thomas he hooked him, hooked me up with some nice sticks. I got him in the human door, dog. So it's definitely going down, man. Definitely gonna find a, some time to sit down and uh, you know, deal with those tasty beverages. Just some tasty beverage and some tasty sticks to go with the tasty beverage. Okay. Um, uh, let's see what else we got going on here. Yeah, man. Just one of them nights, man. After that game, ain't really nothing to talk about. Ain't really nothing popping. Okay. Let's see what's going on. Okay. Tedrick Webb, what's going on? How do you feel about John Taylor Perry going to Arkansas? Was he forced out? Um, I was surprised by the John Calipari uh, going to Arkansas, man, going to play for the Razorbacks. I mean, you know, he's been with Kentucky for so long. Um, and I definitely think when you're dealing with Kentucky and you're dealing with that, with that, with the boosters there and you're dealing with the people of power there, 
Um, they definitely thought it was a time for him to, you know, changing of the guard. Um, you know, Kyle Perry's going to always find him a job. You know, I wouldn't be surprised if, if you know, if uh, after a few years, Kyle Perry comes back to camp, comes back to uh, Kentucky. But you know, I think that it's ran its course, and uh, I think that Kentucky's not mad, and I, I, I think that uh, that Kyle Perry ain't mad. You know, we'll find out who's going to do better between those two factions. So I don't really have a problem with it. Uh, Coach Calipari is always a guy who lands on his feet. That's a dude who's always going to find a job. And, you know, he's already solidified himself as a legend. So I don't foresee him having a problem. I think what he's doing is, you know, right up to par with what he, what he should do. Got wins and Thomas back to back. Not like the women born, man. This shit was boring as hell. Like I keep telling you, man, the women's game actually is competitive. It's actually more fundamentally sound. You know, everything, you know, outside of dunking the basketball, that's the only thing that the men's game right now has on the women's game is dunking the ball. As far as everything else, nah, ain't nothing better. Ain't nothing better than the women's game right now. If the women had the ability to dunk like the men, we would be we would be watching that. OK, even though you got a couple of players in the league that can dunk, but it's not, you know, it's not as uh, you know common as seeing a man do it. But. You know, everything else, women's game is superior right now. Okay. Uh, X-Man, what's good, dog? Patrick Webb, man. The center for Purdue is a monster. He is. He's definitely going to get him a bag. If he decides to leave, he will definitely get him a bag in the league. Patrick Webb saying what's up to the mods. Is he true? What's going on? with Thomas Calipari is great, but won one championship 32 years. Just saying. Yeah, man, but, you know, he's 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 he's, he's a guy that, that has media darling on, written all over him. You know, yeah, he's only won one championship, um, but it hasn't stopped him from getting the bag, has it? You know, that hasn't stopped him. Okay, brother Trap, what's going on, man? You already know what it is, man. Winning to Thomas, talking to Tedrick Webb. Tedrick, man, like my Vikings are playing mind games, smoke screen with by, by Michael Penix. Flew in the whole staff, watch his pro day, but didn't say much. Hey, dudes, chestnut checkers right now. Um, there's a lot of things that, that a lot of free agents that are still available, a lot of things that have not been solidified yet. And uh, I guess we will find out what it is when the when the when the coast is clear. But Trap, I have UConn over Purdue in my bracket. Everything's tournament, another season in the books. Hey man, see if you want some money, bro. Uh, my sister Bev in the house. What's going on, sis? Good evening to the unfiltered nation, unfiltered fam. Bev, hit that like button, subscribe, hit the membership. Yeah, you know, we, you know, let's not let's not act like we don't come on every day because that's what we do. Don't matter if something's hot or not. We ain't, we ain't looking for things to be. Uh, you know, hot. We're looking for things to be right. You know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah, fi follow me on X and Twitter. Follow, get me on Cash App. Number sign at Shasta21. I mean, Shasta21 dollar sign. You already know. Take the way Calibri with being their friends in Arkansas. I guess it's good to have rich friends. You know, that's that's how you maintain your pocket is to have the proper connections, man. You got the proper connections, you'll never go broke. You'll never go hungry. You'll never go without. Okay, you just got to do what you got to do. Stay on top. Tedrick Webb, UConn three-peat. I would not be surprised, just like Don Staley. Okay, I would not be surprised. Um, Don Staley went to back-to-back. -back. Danny, Hur uh, uh, Danny Hurley just went back-to-back. -back. Who's to say, man? Who's to say? You know, people are going to definitely want to play for them, without question. But UConn's always been in the mix, bro. They've always been in the mix. Okay? Always. All right. Wayne mean, Thomas talking to Bev. Uh, yeah, we're chilling. Bill Holloway, man, salute to the Huskies. Hey, Bill, man, dog, you know what I'm saying? I mean, shit, how much more can you do? It is what it is, man. It was all good. Bev says, what oil were you sipping on? Oh, man, I was sipping on sipping on some um, Blackwell's uh, 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 rum. I had Blackwell's rum. I had me some, some um, uh, mixed with some uh, pineapple uh, limeade. Shh. <sighs> And I, I filled the rum up like this, Bev. I was just pouring it, and I was talking, and I wasn't paying attention. And, you know, ain't no pouring it back into the damn container. I just filled that shit up to the top. And next thing you know, I, I was shit was looking fuzzy. Okay. I'm like, damn. Like, I was definitely getting ready to fall asleep. Okay. Brother Trife, what's going on? You gone. Uh, 84 Hoyas. Oh, man, that's easy. 84 Hoyas, man, with... Uh, you talking about with uh, Eric Sleepy Floyd and um, uh, Patrick Ewan and all them cats, man. David Wingate. 
Come on, Fryfe. The only thing, see, man, I'm saying stuff. These dudes don't even know what the hell I'm talking about. Okay, they don't know what I'm talking about. David Wingate, and Patrick Ewan, uh, and, and, you know, it's Eric Sleepy Floyd. They don't know what they're talking about, man. They know I don't know what I'm talking about at all. I'll definitely take the 84, 84 uh, Hoyas over that team. Shit, 84 Hoyas uh, would beat them. I, I know my 80, I know my 82 uh, Carolina, uh, North Carolina Tar Heels would beat them. James Worthy, uh, Michael Jordan, you know what I'm saying? Uh, Buzz Peterson and all them cats, they beat them. And then uh, Five Slamma Jamma would beat them. Houston, the Houston Cougars. Clyde Drexler, Akeem Olajuwon. Ha, uh, when he was Akeem, not Hakeem, but Akeem. When he was Akeem Olajuwon and um, uh, 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 who else was on that team? Benny Anders and all of them cats. Yeah, man. That was back in the days. Jetty Quill, Purdue's basket got small. Yeah, it got small as shit. Um, Bev said, congrats to UConn on the win tonight. I don't think I watched the total five minutes of this game. Hey, man, shit, I'll tell you right now. I'm glad that it wasn't too exciting because... Like I said, the TV started. The TV started looking fuzzy to the motherfucker, dog. That oil was hitting my ass. And I'm just like, okay, well, shit, at least I could see that the Purdue the ball's not going in the hole with Purdue. At least I could see that part. Okay. Um, CJ and Dallas, I love watching awkward layers, tripping and falling rebounds of the women's game. Hey, man, a lot more, just a lot more fundamentally sound, dog. It's a lot more fundamentally sound and a lot, just a lot more. Uh, uh, of competitiveness them women were not trying to give up i could just see the defeat on purdue's face purdue just looked like they were ready to quit you know what i'm saying what's good justin saw what's going on uh bill holloway everyone heard uh, anyone heard a rumor about us trading for herbert um i looked that up man i didn't see anything regarding that at all uh mm -hmm. right now we have a lot of people a lot of these uh pundits and guys that are podcasters and and, and content creators they're saying anything, bro. They're just coming up with any and everything uh, to say to try to get some get some views, bro. But I didn't see anything. Well, you know, when it came to it, and I looked up Raiders, they were just talking about they were concerned whether or not Herbert was going to play against us. Uh, the you know back last year during the season, there wasn't anything going on, nothing substantial to even discuss. God, I felt too worthy, man. Congrats on the seven K. Next is eight K. Facts, man. We're we're, we're creeping. We're, we're, we're less than 400 subscribers away, man. Please make sure you guys are liking the video, subbing the channel, sharing the videos, because uh, we're climbing up, bro. No, 8,000 8, subscribers is right over there, bro. It's, it's right there. We can see it, okay? And it's going to come, dog. We're going to keep doing what we got to do to get there. Okay, Fambo, congratulations. UConn, South Carolina. Yep. Congrats to both of them. Back-to-back -back championships. Ain't, that ain't barbecue chicken. I don't, if that ain't called barbecue chicken, I don't know what to call it. Wendy Thomas, you think, what do you think about... Uh, DC said about Mad Max clear was a joke and media was trying to stir it up. Hey, dude, I always, uh, you know, if, you know, for those of you guys that know Derek Carr said he wanted to uh, punch because uh, they're going to play next year. He wants to punch Mad Max in the mouth. I mean, I always look at it like this, man. The person who should be who should be most insulted isn't insulted. Like, how are you going to be more insulted than Mad Max? He was the one that was that that that, that car said he wanted to punch him in his mouth. If he's not upset, why are all these people getting all upset? That's what I got to look at it like. Like, why are you more upset than the person who actually got insulted? If it was an insult. When you're friends, you say that kind of stuff. Obviously, they're friends, bro. Obviously, uh, Derek Carr can say that. Mad Max didn't say nothing crazy, did he? You know, Mad Max. Remember when uh, when Joe, uh, a big nose Joey Bosa was talking? And, uh, and 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 uh, we beat him, and he he went ahead and and, and gave uh, Joey Bosa the riot act. Said he was acting like a punk and was crying like a bitch and all of that. Trust me, Ma if Max is insulted, Max is gonna say something to let you know. That's his boy, bro. I say something to my friend all the time. So some of my boys all the time. Boy might be talking shit. I say, man, nigga, shut up. I will slap the shit out of you. Like, I mean, nigga, what, nigga? I mean, we friends. I mean, but if people want to make that into something that it ain't, if if Mad Max ain't saying nothing, then what are you saying? Okay, how are you going to be more insulted than Max is? Max is the one that was told that. They're friends, bro. It's friendly banter, bro. Come on, though. You know? So, like I said before, man, people have a problem with everything. You know what I'm saying? You know? But people are talking shit about you and you're not even that mad. You know? So that's just what it is when Tom Steve Gomez was out. Most of you come players are sophomores. 
it's all bad, bro. And they got they got those championships under their belt. If they're sophomores, that means they were their freshman year. They they they've won two two as a sophomore. Now they're gonna come back for their junior year. But some of them might declare, bro. That 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 NBA paper, you know, it's no guarantee, bro. You only got to do is play one year. All you got to do is play one year, and, and y'all ass can y'all ass can go and play professional football. So doesn't take much. Philip Chuweather with the two dollar dono. What's up, big dog? Okay, Bill Hollis, I got an Apple Rock Shard with a honey whiskey and my diesel whiskey raw, man. You getting faded. Okay, Bev talking to Dono. Thank you. We appreciate that, man. You know, uh, Bill Hollis, a 5 5 would have beat UConn tonight. Man, there's too many teams, man. Man, shit during our era, man. The Fab Five would have beat them, Bill. Uh, uh, Le uh, Larry Johnson and Stacey Ogman and them from UCLA and uh, Tar uh, Jerry Tarkanian would have beat them cats. Okay. Uh, shit, Michigan. Uh, from back in the days with Mateen Cleaves and shit, uh, they would have beat them. I mean, there's a bunch of teams. Glenn Rice's team from Michigan would have beat them. There's too many teams that would have beat them, dog. I mean, as far as the play of basketball and the annals of what we've seen, man, there's too many teams that would have won, dog. I mean, shit, I could say that even Virginia's Ralph Sampson team that didn't win a national championship would have beat those dudes. I mean, there's just too many teams that was balling back in the days, bro. Way too many teams, bro. Way too many teams. Okay. All right. So, brother Trife in the house. Uh, see what goes there. Uh, uh, Gomez says, last week a regular season for NBA. Here comes the playoffs. Yeah, man, shit. I just hope that the Lakers get their shit together, man. Motherfuckers got their ass tossed to them last night. Uh, Anthony Davis, his, his eye was, he, he had an eye injury, and LeBron James got the flu. I'm like, y'all better start getting your shit together, man. We only got four more games. Okay, hit that like button, hit the subscribe, share this channel, lock it with a membership. Thanks, sis. Uh, talking to Bev. Okay, Tedrick Webb, 90-90, you and the Ville team, and NFL Hoyas, who you got? Shit, man, and, and, and 84 Hoyas will beat the 1990 UNLV team. I mean, shit, I saw UNLV lose to, uh, use the Duke and Christian Leitner in them. Like, UNLV only played good one year, bro, and after that, it, it, when I, when I when I was in college, man, UNLV was in was in uh, was in my was in my uh, division, and when Larry Johnson and all them cats was there, dog, they came they came to my school, bro. They beat us like one twenty to like fifty five or some shit. They beat the fuck out of us, dog. It was like them motherfuckers was really balling, you know. Uh, but they're not beating the Hoyas, man, with John John, uh, John Thompson and all of them, Patrick Ewan, because they're going to control the football. You're not going to be running and gunning with those guys. Okay. So, yeah, I got UNLV, Larry Johnson, Stacey Ogman, Anderson Hunt, Greg Anthony. Yeah, them guys ran people off the court, man, but you're talking about, you're talking about a, a superior defensive team. There was no answer. None of them dudes had an answer for Patrick Ewan. All, all, all they would have did was slow the game down, bro. Yeah, them cats would have been running out on the break and all of that. But, man, all John John uh, Thompson would have did was slow that shit down and a half court set, half sleepy and them bring the ball up hella slow, pass the ball around, get the ball into you and get them cats in foul trouble, bro. Cause they, because UNLV wasn't a great defensive team. Okay, so I'm definitely going with them. They have talking, talking about, man. So Tribes to 84 Hoyas, Clyde DeGlide, Magic Johnson, Isaiah. That's my area. Yeah, all that's my area, too. Ben Thompson, what your Lakers going to do in this playoff shack? Shit, who knows, dog? I can't call it. I don't know who's going to be healthy. Okay, I don't know if LeBron James is is, is going to have a broken toenail, and I don't know if Anthony Anthony Davis is going to have an ingrown uh, uh, ingrown beard hair. And them two motherfuckers, they, they won't be playing behind that type of shit. Okay? Oh, man, I got an injured eyelash and shit. Anthony Davis get an injured eyelash. He ain't playing. Okay. UNLV, yes, sir. Tedrick West and Ed O'Banion and Charles O'Banion were dogs. They were. But they wouldn't. They, 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 that team, when they won, uh, what year was that when they won? Was that 90, 98, 99, something like that? They wouldn't beat them teams, bro. Uh, Ed O'Banion and them teams was good, but they weren't as good as the teams we're talking about. Okay. Them cats wouldn't even make the Final Four, bro. Them cats get ran out of the gym. Okay. My, I'm chilling. Damn, bro, I need to, our Warriors to win tomorrow. Yeah, we all need to win. Bev said, follow me on IG. www.instagram.com slash Shaxx21. Let's go. Uh, and also follow me on Twitter. Okay, slash Shaxx21. 
Bill said, new hip, top drop tackle is going to make DBs have to uh, drive a shoulder now. You're going to figure it out, dog. Now, like I said, the N NB NFL only cares about offense and cares about scoring. That's what that's what the casual fan wants to see. The casual fan doesn't want to see a six to three game, Bill. Like us, we'd watch a six to three game. A defensive game, two field goals, uh, one team and one field goal on another team would bore the shit out of these people, man. They need to see scoring. God. Uh, Teddy West said, man, shack your heart on Anthony Davis. Yeah, man, shit. Don't come over here fucking around, dog. This is the Los Angeles Lakers we're talking about, dog. This, this ain't no bullshit. Happy to be there type shit. You're talking about 17 world championships, dog. Come on, man. Don't come over here fucking around. God, Yusuf, what's up? Well, Stacy uh, Augman, UNLV. Yeah, man. Stacy Augman, the uh, plastic man. Stacy Augman, uh, his grandmother used to live in East Palo Alto back in the Bay Area, dog. Stacy, we see Stacy walking around town and shit in the gardens up there in East Palo Alto. Okay, plastic man, man. Plastic man was the shit. Okay, even when he went to the pros, he was the shit. Okay, you already know, bro. And he goes, goes uh, uh, Fambo said, AD's made out of feathers. Uh, AD's made out of. I, I, out of out of the feathers from a fake duck, not even the real goose down shit, the the the, the fake ones. Cause I'm telling you, dog, he has to do a lot better, dog. Okay, when Thompson Trust Spear was another one who fell off the leads in the league, not a peep. Hey man, that's how it is, dude. You know what I'm saying? You 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 uh you, you choke out a coach. You need to have you need to make sure you got the your your money right and shit. But the what fucked him up after that wasn't even that. Cause when he went to um. First, he, after he choked out uh, P.J. Colissimo for the Warriors, then he went to uh, went to uh, um, the Knicks, and he played well for the Knicks. And then after that, he got traded to the um, uh, uh, Timberwolves when he was playing with uh, uh, Kevin Garnett, and he had this big-ass contract, and he said, oh, man, my family needs to eat. That ain't enough money, and uh, he didn't make no more money after that. And they didn't sign him to that big-ass deal, so he blew that. God. Uh, Yusuf said, yep, my mom taught his cousin, uh, Sean Ogman, an EPA. See, you see, Yusuf, you see, your boy knows what he's talking about. Don't let this L.A. shit get you misconstrued and all, you know, discombobulated. I'm a Bay Area cat, bro. I was in I was in EPA. I was in the gardens all the time. Matter of fact, my boy had a recording studio at his house, dog. I used to be at his house every day. And they're recording, dog. And they're, and they're recording rappers and had my own groups and shit. I was an EPA all the time, dog. All the time. I used to go to that McDonald's. You know that McDonald's going out there, going out towards Dumbarton Bridge and shit? I used to go to that damn McDonald's. Because that McDonald's was the only McDonald's that had uh, chicken, bone-in chicken wings. There was no other McDonald's in the Bay Area that actually had chicken wings on the, on the menu, bro, where you could order... Uh, they had a, like a, a, a combo was like number 22 and shit. Combos didn't even go that high. East Palo Alto had their own combos, bro. I can go there and order me a 20 wing McDonald's hot uh, uh, hot wings, bro, with, with, with fries and a Coke and shit. And I'd be over there ordering that, bro. Okay. And then Whiskey Gulch across the freeway on the other side of... Uh, of uh, of a uh, um, university over there, man. They had the, the the Kentucky Fried Chicken, the bulletproof checkout at Wh Whiskey Gulch. I oh, mean, I'm an OG, bro. Like my, my pedigree is is is. You from EPA? You're gonna be like, yeah, that nigga was there. Okay. Bill Holloway says, uh, a uh, a is going to not going to rep a city in a uniform when they go to Sacramento. Yeah, I saw that, dog. I saw that they ain't gonna do it. I mean, how marketable is Sacram the Sacramento A's? Ain't marketable, bro. You ain't going to sell nothing, man, with that shit on it. You might as well just keep the A's on it, call them the athletics, call it a day. It is what it is. God. Yeah, when Thomas talking to Beth. Jason Kidd's uh, Kyle Berkeley. Yes, sir. I, I remember seeing Jason Kidd. I even go back further than that, dude. Um, my, my cousin uh, played uh, college high school basketball against Jason Kidd, uh, and they played inside. They played them in uh, the Oakland Coliseum where the Warriors play when Jason, I saw Jason Kidd in high school, bro, before he went to Cal. And he was the number, he was a, what? Like he was the number one ranked player in the in the, in the, in the country when he was at uh, Alameda High School. I went up there to go see my cousin. My, my cousin play against them, dog. 
Jason Kidd was. It, it was like, dude, somebody should not be out there. Jason Kidd was faster than everybody else. He was dunking on everybody, dude. It, it was crazy, bro. It, hitting hitting NBA threes. And I like it. Was, it, it was it was crazy to see him in high school, bro. God. Cedric Guerra said this. Yeah, Thiz and you know the Thiz Nation, you guy. You already know. Okay. What's going on, Jack? What's going on? Jason Kidd was ridiculous. Good lord, dude. Jason Kidd was not was was not playing, bro, when he was in high school. I mean, I think the game that that I that we went to go see my cousin and them, they got their asses whooped. I think Jason Kidd had like, I think he had like thirty-seven, like seventeen assists. He was just stealing the ball, man. He just, I mean, the person that their their guard that he was guarding, they he just straight, he just straight locked him down, dude. Just straight locked his ass down, bro. God, brother Traffic, East Coast time, calling it night. Yeah, man, go get some sleep, big dog. You know what I'm saying? I'm just coming in because we just got to got to see the championship and all of that. So I thought I'd come in, holler at y'all. Ain't no, ain't no big, ain't no thing but a chicken wing. So if you guys got to get your sleep, then you got to get some sleep and shit. Okay, it is what it is. All right. So yeah, anything else popping on here, man? You know, ain't a whole lot to talk about tonight. But we're going to come in on the daily like we normally do. I figured I'd come in after the game. Thought maybe it'd be some exciting shit to watch, but turned out to whatever it turned out into. Uh, William Thomas, did you know that Prince Rogers Nelson had handles? Yes. But I kept balling McGregor Cart back in the day wearing boots and heels, Jack. Hey man, Prince, Prince was Prince definitely was 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 a good basketball player, bro. Okay. Um every all those stories you heard was true, man. Like I said, man, I um, you know, I used to be hang I used to be Hanging around uh, uh, the Murphy family, man. My, my One of my boys is Eddie's cousin. He works for Eddie. And I asked him about that shit. When that Chappelle shit came out, I had to ask. I was like, man, is it true, man? They, pre they were like, yeah, dog, don't even bring that shit up. Like, we don't even want to talk about that. Like, that shit that you saw on Chappelle that was funny as fuck was true, bro. When Charlie Murphy said that shit, that shit's facts. I, t I heard it from them. I heard it from them, dog. They said it was absolutely true, bro. They went, they came over to it. They went to, they went out to a club and Prince told him to come by. And when he got there, man, they got there after the club. The club Prince used to have them parties up there. They all lived in the same compound up in Beverly Park. That Eddie and them still live up there on top of the damn Mulholland Drive. And they went over to where Prince was renting a house and they Prince would be having be play and have bands and play music and all that shit. So they went up there, man, and Prince was like, hey, man, let's play some basketball. And they were laughing and shit. And, and man, Prince had on them damn motherfucking uh, high heel shoes and was fucking them cats up, dog. That whole story, uh, uh, blouses and uh, skins and blouses, all that shit is true, bro. There was no cap in any of that, bro. They said they got their asses whooped. Said he was hitting everything, bro. He was hitting everything. The house that the house that Prince was renting was Carlos Boozer. You remember Carlos Boozer that played for uh, that played for uh, um, a Duke, and he also played for the uh, um, played for Utah Jazz and shit. Um, yeah, that was Carlos's boozer, Carlos Boozer's house. Okay. That he was renting cause he was doing all these shows, uh, at the, at the, uh, at the, um, Staples center. This is when Prince had his 3121 album. Like, come on dog. I, I, I like the details. I'm telling you just, it's just, you ain't getting it nowhere else. Okay. So Prince was here and he played like those 20 something dates and he played at the, at the, uh, downtown at the staple center and he was renting carlos's Bo carlos boozer's house and so the courts there were were, reg were regulation it wasn't like no little up against the wall and you know you have a little basketball court that's up against the side no everything was regulation bro and they got their asses whooped prince and them prince and his little band mickey free and all them little revolution motherfuckers <laughs> They 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 beat Eddie and them guys' ass, bro, and their security. Beat their ass, bro. God. All right. Um, 
So you actually saw it yourself way before the Chappelle show. I can vouch for that. That dude was hitting everything. Dude had handles. Dude had a jumper. Um, Prince, was, Prince was not playing, though. Okay, his basketball was on point. Okay, Yusuf Arla said, Fambo Proc, as I went to high school with Lamont Murray. I remember Lamont, Lamont Murray also played at uh, uh, played at Piedmont High School uh, in San Jose, bro. We knew Lamont Murray, bro. We knew Lamont Murray when he was a kid. Okay, Lamont, Lamont Murray, bro. Lamont Murray, man, he made it big, man. He's one of the cats that we knew, man. We used to know him when he was a kid, bro. Okay, yeah, Fambo in the house, man. Okay. Yeah, you met Mickey Free in Albuquerque. Yep. See, you know, I know what I'm talking about, bro. They were like, man, they thought Mickey Free was a girl and shit. <laughs> and Charlie said, he goes, man, who's a man? He got a new girl named Mickey Free in the group. Like, Ain't no girl. That's a dude. But Mickey Free could ball too. Okay. He got that pick with him for sure, man, for sure. Okay. All right, man. Anything else y'all talking about, man? Like I said before, man, your boy's on that motor oil, bro. I'm sure tr I'm chilling. Chilling on the couch, bro. Chilling. Man, I don't know, man. I may have to. I might not make it to the bed for a few hours, man. I might just. Got the nice air on right now, man. Got some old ass James Bond movie on this shit. I might just have to just pull pull, pull up, pull up one of these uh little throw throw covers and knock out for a little bit, dog. Cause I'm telling you. It is really hard to keep my eyes open right now, dog. I ain't even going to hold you. All right. So, yeah, man, I just want to come in and say, man, congratulations to UConn, man. It's good to see the, uh, you know, good to see some type of basketball, but it wasn't competitive. But, yeah, we got too much to do, man. We're going to all go out and call it a night, chop it up with you guys tomorrow, man. Guys, be safe out there, man. Keep it, keep it gangster. And we'll holler at y'all tomorrow. Make sure you guys subscribe, share the channel, and lock in with a membership, man. Make sure you're picking up the merch. Not to check and filter.